Hello, and welcome to our flip video lesson 2.11, A New Religion. The recorded links will be posted here once this recording is finished. Learning objectives of this lesson. Define Gentile, Messiah, Epistle, and Catacomb. Describe the spread of Christianity in the early 1st century AD. Identify core beliefs of Christianity. And identify Peter and Paul as key figures in the early spread of Christianity. Table of contents, we're going to talk about Christianity in the first century AD. Your student guide questions on, on page 341 to 345. We're going to have some important vocabulary to go over for an understanding of this lesson. And as always, it is extremely important that you complete your readings to go with this lesson, pages 403 to 411. Introduction. Jesus' followers set out to create a new religion based on his message of salvation. Despite encountering religious and political opposition, Christianity began to spread throughout the Roman Empire. Paul played an enormous role in the early diffusion of new ideas. Peter, an uneducated fisherman, was known as the first apostle who Jesus chose to carry on his work. So go ahead and open your student guide to page 343. There are quite a few questions to fill in. As always, you can always pause this video or look at the PDF if you need to check your answers from your reading or fill in your answers. Question number one, what did the disciples teach the people? The disciples taught that Jesus was the Son of God. They said that he was indeed the Messiah, not one who wanted earthly power, but one who brought the message of God's love. The apostles and disciples spoke of miracles Jesus had performed. They spoke of his death on the cross and said that on the third day he had risen from the dead. They predicted that someday he would come again to complete the work he had begun. Question number two, list at least two ideas that became the basis of the Christian faith. Jesus is the Son of God. One of the most important ideas was the belief in Jesus as the Son of God and the Savior of mankind. And then teachings of Jesus leads to heaven. The disciples believed that by, the follow by following the teachings of Jesus and living as he had taught, people could be saved and enter heaven. Question number three, why did Saul hate the followers of Jesus? Saul hated the followers of Jesus because he thought their new ideas violated Jewish law and threatened the religious understandings that Jews had lived by for centuries. Questions number four and number six. So you'll notice we skipped number five here. I'll go back to that in just a second. These are just quick definitions. What is a martyr and define Gentile? A martyr is someone who dies for his or her faith, and Gentile is a biblical term for a person who is not Jewish. So question number four is martyr, question number six is Gentile. Question number five, describe what happened to Saul on the road to Damascus. One account in the Christian Bible says he was blinded by a great light, fell to the ground and heard the voice of Jesus asking why Saul persecuted him. After that experience, Paul believed in Jesus. Question number seven, why did Saul change his name to Paul? Saul went from being one of Christianity's greatest enemies to one of its greatest teachers and disciples. To show the change, Saul stopped using the Hebrew form of his name Saul and began to use its Roman form, Paul. Question number eight, what is the Greek word for Messiah? The word Messiah in Greek is Christos. Question number nine, how did Paul answer questions and settle problems for the people he had converted? Sometimes Paul would write long letters or epistles to the people he had converted, answering the questions and settling problems. And right here is a picture of a primary source document of one of those letters. And remember, a primary source is something directly from that time period. Question number 10. Why was Paul's life always in danger? Paul's, preachings, uh, Paul's preaching was bold, and it angered many. Some Jews protested that he was turning people away from the Torah. Others thought he threatened Jewish customs by mixing Jews and Gentiles. Sometimes he had to flee quickly after preaching to people who did not accept his views. More than once, he ended up in prison. Question number 11. What happened to the letters that Paul wrote? The letters that Paul wrote eventually became part of the New Testament of the Christian Bible. And that picture is just a, an example of when they were the letters were possibly written. Questions number 12 and 13. To what areas or regions did Paul carry the message of Jesus? 
Who was Peter and where did he carry the message of Jesus? With Paul's help, the message of Jesus spread from a handful of Jews in the area near Jerusalem to Gentiles throughout the eastern Mediterranean and into Rome. And Peter was one of Jesus' apostles, and he spread the faith off the Mediterranean coast and into Rome. Question number 14, who was Nero and how did he treat the Christians? Nero was the Roman emperor. Nero had Christians thrown to the lions. He had others burned alive. Some Christians faced death as Jesus had, crucified on the cross. And when you think about that thrown to the lions, remember, think about some other things that we've studied and um, social interaction with events such as that. Question number 15, what are catacombs and how did early Christians use them? Catacombs were a network of underground passages and rooms. Early Christians used the catacombs as burial places and occasionally as hideaways. And this is not in your student guide, but this is in your OMS, Focus on Geography. So just a quick overcap, uh, the movement of people creates patterns and centers of activity. That's that word cultural diffusion, that movement. People move from one location to another to fulfill needs. To make travel easier, they frequently end up establishing routes or roads. In earlier lessons, you learned about the Silk Road, which established, uh, was established to trade goods, and about the Roman roads, which were used to connect the vast empire and move the military. By Paul's time, there was a regular pattern of people traveling along the historical trade routes. Following Paul's conversion to Christianity on the road to Damascus, he made three uh, journeys spreading Jesus' message. The first journey took place between A.D. 45 and 47. His second journey also lasted about two years. He traveled around preaching from about A.D. 51 to 53. The following year, A.D. 54, he set out on a longer trip that lasted until A.D. 58. Historical evidence suggests that Paul used some of the Silk Road routes in his travels. Other apostles used the Roman roads to spread the good news. The movement of people, things, and ideas is called cultural diffusion. Over time, Jesus' teachings spread far and wide. So now we spread ideas via the internet, email, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, then it was by word of mouth and travel. Vocabulary is key to understanding. So catacomb, again, just to reiterate, is a network of underground passages uh, built by early Christians. An epistle is a long letter. First century AD is that time period um, when it basically is 1 CE common era, um, or AD, through 100 CE, or Common Era, according to the Julian cal calendar. It's often written as the 1st century AD or the 1st century CE to distinguish it from the 1st century BC, which preceded it. So remember, BC or BCE is before Christ or before Common Era. Those are the same thing. And CE and AD are the same thing. CE is Common Era, and AD is Anno Domini. Those are both the same, uh, the same time period. And then cultural diffusion is the spreading of ideas. And if you need any touch up on CE, AD, BC, BCE, look back to the very first pages in your Human Odyssey reading book. So again, reading is key to understanding. Make sure you did complete or have completed or will complete your reading for today's lesson, pages 403 to 411. And here we come to our quote section. A man has no way of judging men unless he understands words. And that is said by Confucius. Thank you so much for joining me today. Our ultimate list, get more sleep, get more water, get more exercise, read more, get more organized, clean more often, explore more, relax more, have more patience, forget doing more, just try your best. Have an amazing day.